such an amazing place. I'd love to have enough time to explore it. I might discover some secrets of the natives' exceptional knowledge. Be respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Tiernaha Kadaktus has quite the head start. There's a chasm here. The Tierna Hachkadachtas is agile. I need a bit of practice.
I hope she didn't hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be another here. We should be careful.
We didn't want this fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service, guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. You are obviously nothing more than a henchman. It is your governor that is going to have some explaining to do. Off with you, and make sure our paths never cross again. Thank you, Excellency. You will never see me again. Tiana Ha? She's unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. Tiana, he does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. The man that shot at you is in no condition to come back and bother you. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. Even I would have preferred knowing the men dead. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one 
and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound, as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite, but the crimes of the Renaixe enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name, Enon Mil Frictimin. The god of a thousand faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. Precisely. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago, a lot longer than we first thought. The Malakor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch, brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, is it not also the origin of the first guardians of the native legends? Either way, one thing is certain. If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress. My dear cousin, come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh. Allow me to present Afra, an emissary of the Bridge Alliance. She is an eminent naturalist who studies local flora in an effort to find a remedy. Your Excellency, it is a great honor. You were part of Governor Burren's lost expedition, if I've understood correctly, were you not? Yes, and our research would have borne fruit if it hadn't been so brutally interrupted. I can only imagine. Nevertheless, you are most welcome. Your great learning will certainly prove useful. I implore you, my dear cousin. Do continue. We are eager to hear your news. I wanted to inform you of our progress made in the attempt to discover a cure. As you advised, I followed the leads shared by our allies, none of which led anywhere. However, they both pointed in the same direction, towards a sort of god that the natives worship. They call him En on mil fructiman, the god of many faces. He is very powerful and protects the island. How can you be sure that it's not some sort of myth? Even a superstition? I saw it with my own eyes take shape during a ritual. It is possible that the Malachor is the expression of its vengeance. You are referring to the secret we unearthed. The entire continent is paying today for the errors of our grandparents. It is a terrifying perspective. But if it were true, he must also be able to help us heal. Katasak, my friend. I saw you flinch hearing that name. You were familiar with this being. All of the Donegada know him, even in their flesh. He is Tirfredi. It is with him we make our bond. But I would be surprised that he is at the origin of your sickness. He is generous and 
only rages when attacked and wounded. I fear that that is exactly what we did. Cousin, I know that I ask much of you, but I have no choice. You need to go and find this magical being. I won't survive for much longer. Beg him. Offer him all that he wants, but we must have this remedy. I need it. I shall do all in my power, Constantine, I promise you. But I need to find a way to communicate with him. I was already sent to fight a guardian under that pretext, and it almost killed me. There is a way. A way so sacred that even we, Donegada, cannot use it. Enon Mil Frichtiman decides. It is not I who judges your intentions. Go and find Glendon, the sage of the village council of Dorhagenadu. If he deems you worthy, he will guide you. To be able to speak with him, you must present this seal. It will prove that you are the friend of a member of the council. I had no idea that such a talisman was required. You have not yet been named Mal of your clan, Siora, daughter of Bladnet. When this has come to pass, we will give you a seal that allows you to give voice to your friends when visiting the Council. It is a symbol of great trust. Why are you awarding me this? I do not wish to lose the soul who has put their life in my hands. And also, you have proven you are our friend back there in my village. Thank you, Katasak. I will not forget this honor you bestow upon me. And thank you, dear cousin, for everything. Minister, Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency.
Deward. Hello, my name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. May I enter? Good day, legate Desarde. No. This building is closed to Renaixel. I am Siora, daughter of Vladne, daughter of Meb. My mother, the Mal of the Red Spears, was a member of the council. All here remember, and the Vorst Tirse. She was a courageous Mal, but you are not yet Mal in her stead, and you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. Here is the seal of the Denegad Katasach, of the village of Wenshavie. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am Desarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin, as well as many other people on our island, suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that only Enon Miel Frictiman can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial, the trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And this cavern is guarded, I suppose. That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face and return purified by the waters of the cavern. What can you tell me about your god? That the word god is too small to hold him. He is Tiafradi in all and everything. The wisdom of his people, the gentleness of his rivers, the strength of his volcano. You are looking for wisdom to heal the Renaixe, but you still see it with the eyes of a sort of Donegat. He is much more than that. He is the essence of all life, of all magic, the spring. What can you tell me about the sanctuary? It is the most sacred place of the island. The hidden face, and still seen by all of you. In all meal Frichtimen. I protected these doors like my father before me and his father before him. And still none of us have ever entered. Am I to gather that there has never been a High King in your family? We are heads of the Council of Kings. And so it is prohibited for us to present ourselves. We must remain impartial. I see. And so you cannot speak to me about what you find inside? The heart of the island beats near here, the volcano. And I know that it is a place full of life. Can you tell me anything more about the role of the Council? We gather here at every long night and every short night. During these nights, the clans are in disagreement and come here looking for wisdom of the Council and, of course, also the High King. 
Those who have complaints against their mal may also be heard here and find justice. And when important events take place, if the balance is threatened, then we also meet here, so that the wisdom of all might be shared, and that we might act as the same people. I must leave. Goodbye. Qua awelam seg. You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? I was asked to pass the trial of water. What do you know about it? I have never passed it. Only those who must reveal their soul walk this path. The High Kings and Queens. It is a tremendous honor given to you, Renaixe. Do you have any advice to give me? I only know that the trial can be passed in many ways, and your choice will reveal the makings of your soul. One way is through strength, the other by ruse and heart. But I know no more than this. The trials are kept secret. Anything else? Nothing else, thank you. I need to leave. Good luck. And do not lose yourself in your own reflection.